Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Marshan unveils immigration plan to make New Hampshire a sanctionary state. Democratic Governor candidate Steve Marchand on Wednesday unveiled a plan he said would have New Hampshire join California and other states and cities as a sanctionary state. The former Portsmouth mayor rolled out his plan in his home city of Manchester at Lafayette. Park, not far from where he grew up. Marchand stood in front of a statue of Fred Drone Gignon, a French-Canadian immigrant who, as a journalist, highlighted discrimination against French-Canadians in Manchester in the mid-19th century. Marchand is competing in a Democratic primary against former State Senator Molly Kelly. The winner of the party primary on September 11 will face Republican Governor Chris Sununu in the November general election. Both Kelly and Sununu and the Sununu campaign weighed in on Marchand's plan. Kelly did not say specifically if she supports or opposes making New Hampshire a sanctionary state, but she said New Hampshire law enforcement should not do the federal government's job of enforcing immigration laws. Sununu said that Marchand and Kelly will say just about anything to get a headline. This is an unsafe policy that is bad for New Hampshire. Marchand is calling for passage of a trust act, which stands for transparency and responsibility using state tools and which has been passed in Connecticut and California. The California Trust Law prohibits state and local law enforcement from holding people longer than 48 hours for federal immigration agents unless They've been convicted of certain crimes, most of them serious or violent crimes. Marchand said that Connecticut became the first state to pass such a law. He stated in his plan that under the Trust Act, when federal immigration and custom enforcement officials issue detainer request to state and local enforcement agencies asking them to hold an individual for an additional 48 hours past their release date to allow for a determination of whether the individual will be taken into custody or for deportation. State and local law enforcement are not required to follow these detainer requests or immigration holds. Marchand's plan also calls for minimizing the use of local law enforcement resources for federal immigration enforcement purposes. He would also forbid state and local law enforcement from asking someone about their immigration status or detain them solely because 
of their status and would forbid state and local law enforcement from assisting in arrests based on civil immigration warrants. Under Marchand's plan, state and local authorities would assist ICE in cases involving illegal immigrants who have been charged or convicted of certain crimes. Marchand would allow undocumented immigrants to obtain driver licenses in New Hampshire. He would also expand in-state public higher education tuition rates to the children of undocumented immigrants if those children have attended an in-state high school for a certain number of years or obtained a GED in New Hampshire. Marchand said, however, that the Trump administration's procedures are raising constitutional questions. Reaction from Kelly and Sununu. Kelly, whose spokesman was asked if she supported Marchand's plan and call to make New Hampshire a sanctionary state, said, New Hampshire law enforcement should not do the federal government's job of enforcing immigration laws. The Trump administration has been disparately violating human rights and common sense by ripping children from their parents' arms at the southern border, failing to recognize legitimate ansom claims, and even seeking to deport dreamers and people with illegal permanent resident status. Trump's deportation force is not welcome in New Hampshire. The administration should instead be focused on ensuring every child is reunited with their parents as quickly as possible. Sununu said, the Democrats running for governor will say just about anything to get a headline. That is not leadership. This is an unsafe policy that is bad for New Hampshire. A further statement from Sununu's campaign said, from tackling the opiate crisis head on to receiving the earliest ever endorsement from the New Hampshire Police Association. It's unclear that Chris Sununu is committed to keeping New Hampshire safe. He does not support sanctionary states. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night, everyone. Bye.